Welcome back to SB Nation. I am Dan Rubenstein, joined by NFL League expert Brad Wells, whose VNet game is on point because we're talking free agency. It's time. Uh, let's talk with the spenders, people that went out and really bought players. Let's start with Tampa Bay. Going out, what did they do? Did they get a good value? Did they address their needs? What well, do you think? With free agency, you're always going to overpay. But mm -hmm. they got two players that they, they really needed to get. Carl Nix is going to help their offensive line protection for quarterback Josh Freeman. And then they got Vincent Jackson, who finally gives Josh Freeman a number one receiver to throw the ball to. Overpaid for both. But there are two excellent players that Tampa Bay clearly wanted. Uh, 49ers, another team with a lot of needs to address, at least with the players leaving. And we, we've seen it multiple layers. Uh, what did they do? Are you happy with what they've done if you're if, what they've done, excuse me, if you're a 49er fan? Well they've resurrected Randy Moss. Who yes. can't be happy about that? We have Moss TV now. Everybody for, else for other than season. 49er fans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I think that helps them. I mean if Randy can still run, right. that's obviously they did they throw a pass to a wide receiver in the NFC championship game? Right. No. Now Randy stretches the defense for them if Alex Smith can get the ball down the field. And they also got uh, Parrish Cox who uh, helps their secondary and they re sign Carlos Rogers. So that's gonna help them a lot defensively. And it's the offseason, so the winners are always going to be the Washington Redskins, always. even if they don't actually win. <laughs> uh, what did they do? Where do you stand on what they've done? Well, aside from the Robert Griffin, the third trade, right. reportedly, um, right. the, the moves that they've made in order to bring in wide receivers such as Pierre Garçon and Josh Morgan, they're really good. They're good players. They right. obviously overspend for them. Josh Morgan and Pierre Garçon are good number two and number three receivers, not right. number one receivers, but they got number one receiver money. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can produce like a number one And that one was a receiver. need of theirs. Big need. If you're right. going to if you're going to draft Robert Griffin III, which we all suppose they will, right. they need receivers for him to throw the ball to. Sure, and the individual players still out on the market as we record this. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with Matt Flynn, who I know the, the news has been swirling around him. Yeah, Matt Flynn is visiting the Seattle Seahawks, so uh, Matt Oford would be happy about that. Yes. But, um, I mean, there, if he signs with Seattle, that fills a very big need for them. And he, he's familiar with the West Coast offense. Daryl Bevel, their offensive coordinator, runs a West Coast offense there. So that would be a great signing for them if he lands in Seattle. And that's something that certainly could affect their draft coming Big up. time. Big right. time. They're not going after a quarterback in the first round. They might go after a wide receiver, maybe Michael Floyd out of Notre Dame. And Mario Williams, obviously, still, still out there. Uh, rumors and mm -hmm. news still swirling. Much like things were swirling for Matt Flynn, things are swirling around for Mario Williams. What's the latest with him? Well, with Mario Williams, he's in Buffalo, and he recently picked up his girlfriend and or right. his fiance in Buffalo. So the feeling is he will sign in Buffalo. If he does sign in Buffalo, that's a very, very big upgrade to their defense. Sure. They're going to shift to a 4-3 defense, and it would drastically improve their ability to rush the pass. And Peyton Manning. Give me 10 seconds about Peyton Manning. 10 seconds. Uh, Peyton Manning, uh, still four teams are interested in signing them. Uh, two of those teams are the Denver Broncos and the Arizona Cardinals. If you talk to Bill Polian, and Bill Polian seems to think the Tennessee Titans are still involved with it, and okay. you can never discount the Miami Dolphins. His name is Brad Wells. The NFL free agency knowledge on point. The VNet game on point. Do subscribe to the YouTube stuff. I am Dan Rubenstein, and we'll see you soon.